my PlayStation 5 has finally arrived. Very excited. And uh, today I just want to run through with you uh, how you get it set up for the first time and how you uh, transfer your data across from PS4 onto the new console. So in the box you get the PS5, you get uh, the HDMI cable, you get a power cable, uh, DualSense, DualSense controller, and this. Now this is a stand and uh, basically you use this in whichever orientation you have it, whether you want it to go vertical like this or whether you want it to go on its side. Of course that's down to personal preference. I prefer it standing up, it's going to stand up quite nice next to the new Xbox uh, Series X. So I'm going to get this installed on the base here. And that's for two reasons. One is it's going to help air uh, suck in at the bottom so it's going to help with the circulation I guess. Uh, and secondly because this is a quite glossy on the bottom, it's, it's much more prone to move. Whereas this has got some uh, rubber feet on here. So it's going to just make the whole thing more secure. Now how we attach this is if we, um, it's very difficult to do with one hand, but basically we rotate this stand, it's going to reveal somewhere. Ah, there it is. It's going to reveal this little screw. Um, so there's a grommet in the bottom of the PlayStation. We're going to take it out, put it in this little holder so we know where it is for the future reference and remove the screw and install the stand. It should be a, a two minute job. The stand clips in just at the back there and then we're going to put the screw into the hole and secure it. So the stand's installed now and it's much firmer. It's less likely to fall over, it's less likely to slip. Now we'll install the cables, and get it switched on Get it set up on the network and then we can look at transferring the stuff over from my old PS4 Pro. Okay, everything's wired up. Let's uh, switch it on and see what happens. Okay, so it's asking you to connect your new controller to the PS5 um, with the USB-C to USB-A connector and one doesn't appear to be supplied with a console. Now I've got plenty of cables here so I'm quite lucky that I've got a USB-A to USB-C adapter uh, and probably many of you will have but if you haven't that's something you certainly need to bear in mind. So that's plugged in now and I guess it's charging but it's also come up with a different screen now so we can move forward with installation. We've gone through the basic setup process and now we've got to this screen transfer data from your PS4 so this is obviously the bit where we're going to do this. Uh, it says also here that we can do it later if we want to, so there's not the pressure to do it there. If you can't do it straight away, you can do it later. Uh, but we're just going to continue here. Uh, it says make sure they're both on the same network, which they are, and to do it faster, use a wired LAN connector. So that's what I'm going to do. So basically, you just need a, an Ethernet cable like this. Plug one end Plug one end into the PS4, the other one into the PS5, so that's done. But basically the, the story is that you have to switch your PS4 on um, after you've connected it to the LAN and then it will ask you to press the power button for one second, so let's just do that. So I've pressed it and it peeped and now it's going to transfer the data over. So you just basically select which games you want to copy over. Press next. <laughs> okay, it's saying it's going to take 99 hours. Um, let's press start transfer and let's see how long it takes. So now in the transfer data screen, uh, it's going really fast. Whether this is the actual transfer, I don't know, but we're going to see. But this is not 99 hours, this is literally um, one minute so far. I guess if you were on a wireless connection it probably will be quite a bit longer um, but with this Ethernet cable it's it's really zooming. Okay it looks like it's done. So that literally took probably under a minute. Okay so you game library. My games are there. So that literally say so ignore how long it says it's going to take. Okay, now it's asking me to download. That's interesting. It didn't download it. The PS5 restarts itself and you're ready to go. I checked all the accounts are there, the games are there. 
But when you actually go to play the game, it says download. So I thought, mm, OK, it copies over the fact you've got the game, it copies over the saved data, it copies over your accounts, but it doesn't copy over the game. So I re-downloaded re -downloaded a Genshin Impact, uh, I had a play with it, so that, you know, five or ten minutes to do that. When I went back then to try another game, those had downloaded. So obviously, even when it reboots, it's not finished. So it's still copying over the actual games themselves. Uh, so that's something to bear in mind. You know, you don't have to do it again. You um, shouldn't really disconnect your PlayStation 4 from your 5 until those games have all copied over. Uh, it's just something to be aware of, uh, that it all does work. It just takes a little bit longer than, than it actually sort of tells you on the screen. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video has been of help to you and I'll see you soon.